Let's take a look at the joystick out of an amusement arcade machine. This is a very common thing because arcades are just everywhere. You can find these copy Sanwa joysticks on AliExpress from about $5. They're really, really cheap. And when you activate the joystick, it has micro switches in the back. And we'll disassemble this and you can see what it looks like. But you get plates that you can put on that will limit the movement. So you could just go from left to right and that's it. Or you can have the up, down, left and right. Or as in this case, it's uninhibited. You can actually go around in a circle and it will press diagonal pairs of switches. The knob is unscrewable. And for those of you in the engineering community who want a bright, shiny coloured knob, the diameter is 35 millimetres and the thread is 6 millimetres. As supplied, it usually comes the knob off so you can put it through the panel. Then this little cover plate goes on just to cover the hole that it comes through. And then you screw the knob on. I did try and get a big pink knob. Uh, unfortunately, both the pink and purple knobs were sold out for some inexplicable reason. I wonder what that could be. But anyway, I digress. Let's get the back off this. Oh, I should also mention it's got a five pin connector here, which comes with just the housing of the socket, but no connection. Some of them come with a ribbon cable as well. Maybe you're just supposed, supposed to put your own wires and contacts into this standard housing. It is not keyed. You can turn it round either way. You should be aware of that. But having said that, it's not going to damage anything if you do turn it round the wrong way, because it is just a common and uh, four connections. So the best way to get these off is to push in two of these tabs at once with your fingers. This back cover pops off and then the printed circuit board pops off. Note that it is symmetrical. You can put it on either way round. So if you put it on the wrong way round, the joystick will operate in the wrong direction. Just adjust to your own requirement. Um, the housing has a spring here to hold the joystick down. And that seems to sit into a little bowl with a, a greasy swivel. Now, there's what looks like a screw in the end here, but that is not a screw as such. I think that's machined onto the shaft. And the reason for that is that if you get a screwdriver and you're putting the knob on the front, it means that you can hold the knob and you can literally screw this really tightly into that knob to make sure that nobody tries unscrewing the knob from the game and stealing it. As used to happen. Uh, let's take more screws out. So let's pull the knob off, if you'll excuse the terminology. I could have zoomed in this, couldn't I? I could have zoomed. A bit late for that now, but not to worry. I shall put the, the ball there, and then I shall zoom in belatedly to show the assembly of this. There are four screws. Let's grab a suitable screwdriver. This one looks suitable. It's semi-suitable. So we'll take those screws out, but I have a horrible feeling that the only way we're going to get further is to take this Jesus clip out, so-called because when it pings, you shout, Jesus, and then it's gone, and you never find it in your workshop again. Sir clips, they're, they're quite annoying. Uh, so that's off. What we're we seeing, not a lot. That didn't reveal a huge amount. We're going to have to take that circlip off. Oh, that's not going to end well, is it? Let's try gingerly pushing and see if I can stab myself in the process as well. I shall push it down the way onto the bench. That might work. Or it might just rotate. It is just rotating. I'm not really seeing anywhere I can actually get something underneath to prise that out either. Tell you what, I shall pull it like this. It might work like this. No, this is not going well. Right, tell you what, I'll pause while I try and get this off. One moment, please. That was so hard to get off. When you have popped that off successfully, then there's this little cup, then there's a spring, then there's a bush that pushes against this and holds this in. And that's very sticky and greasy. That's more or less it. The uh, screw in the end is machined in here. So there we go. That's it. That's how this thing goes together. Quite interesting. So let's take a look at the circuit board. I shall pop these bits back together. 
I shall even try putting that. No, I won't try putting that circle upon. That's another waste of time here. So if you get one of these for use in, say, for instance, you might find use in something like getting a rough position on a lathe, perhaps, before fine-tuning it in, or other things that you didn't need a joystick for. Um, oh, what is that? Oh, the text is back to front, G-N-Y-U-E-T-E-K. Uh, but the, basically, it's a common connection that goes round at this end of this, this uh, connector that goes round all the switches. And then the other ones all individually come back. And you can just work it out yourself. Whichever one you get, you can uh, just probe and find which switch makes in, makes in which position. They're quite stiff switches, but they're standard micro switches. I wonder if the joystick is used with force, if, if it's relying on the... Uh, switch for the end of travel and it would potentially flex these connections and break solder joints an easy enough repair to a degree although that is relying on that for a mechanical purposes having said that would this grip it oh it's kind of supported to a degree pillar drops out uh, by this hmm, but i think you know there is a possibility that those switches are going to like break solder connections with excess use but that's just something uh, that could happen but there we have it uh, oh i'll show you the schematic just i mean you can work it out yourself but i'll show you anyway as a as a as a requirement to provide schematics for things here we go it's not that complicated it is literally the common connection, and then just the four switches in a order that may vary between different brands of joysticks. But there we have it, the Sanwa copy joystick. Quite odd that they're quite brazen about saying it is a copy. Um, in, a, in the listing, it just says Sanwa copy. I guess it's just styled on the classic Sanwa joystick. But there we have it, a very useful device and uh, quite cheap. So maybe worth adding to your arsenal of, of random switches as a useful device. Quite nice.